Hey, it's Paul with RackOutfitters.com, and this is a first look unboxing of the iCamper SkyCamp Mini. So here it is in the box that it is delivered in. Very rigid, durable box to make sure that it arrives safely. It's banded. We'll go ahead and get it all unbanded, open it up, and go over as many details as possible. So this, of course, is a design built off of the original SkyCamp, which is the world's first expandable hardtop tent. On the inside here, we've got the mounting hardware, which is in its own separate box. The foam is going to protect all around the perimeter. You also notice you have a, a protective cover. So this particular model is the rocky black finish. And we'll, after we remove the cover, we'll show you that in detail. Very lightweight tent, ideal size for smaller, smaller trucks and SUVs. I'll get a helper to get, uh, Get this up and onto. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we've got it on our display, and let's go ahead and pull off the cover. So of course this cover, you should, you should save the cover and have that for whenever you stow the, the tent again to just provide a little added protection. Okay, this is the backside, so let's go ahead and spin it around. And here's the front side. You'll notice that we have a air deflector at the front, so that indicates that it is the front and you don't want to have that uh, at the back of the tent so you always want this facing forward and the purpose of this is to prevent air from penetrating in between the lid and the base and lifting the lid off of the base while while in transit okay so that's that's an important aspect of it so it is a passenger side opening tent and so that's, uh, that's not optional. It always needs to be a passenger side opening tent. So here you can see the, the finish. It is uh, similar, not exactly, but similar to the spray and bed liner type, type finish that you find in the bed of a truck. So the main purpose is to give it more durability, less, uh, less scratch prone. Um, also speaking about the hardtop, this is a handmade fiberglass hardtop, and it's unique in that it has uh, two, two ply to it. So you have this outer skin, there's an inner skin, and there's a thermal barrier between the two. So it's not just one layer of fiberglass. Okay, next step, let's go ahead and, and open up the tent. So it has keys that are zip-tied to the cable. So I'll just snip that off. You've got your uh, iCamper branded keys. And so we'll just insert that key, rotate it, flip down the lever. And then here on the underside, you can see we've got a hook, we unhook that. And then to move this to the next one, we have to relock it, even though it's not latched, go ahead and relock it. And then come to this side and same thing. Unlock it, rotate down unhook and now at this stage we can go ahead and begin to lift now there are gas struts that are lifting the hard top up and deploying the canopy okay next on the inside you can see we've got a pv top on the on the top of the rain fly which can provide more sunlight and light inside of the tent um, here you have a cover 
that's provided for the ladder. And this cover needs to be installed and removed when you're stowing and deploying the tent. Purpose for that is to keep debris, mud, or gravel, or what have you, from coming in contact with that PV material. Also, there is off-gassing produced by the rubber, which could potentially discolor this PV material. So that's, that's the purpose of this cover. So it has multi-purpose. Also, you have a foam base there, which stops that ladder from, from making noise, and it rests comfortably on that. The other thing you'll notice here is you've got three different straps. You've got the two auxiliary straps here that are designed to bring in the canopy as you're closing the tent. You have an additional strap up top, and that's the strap that's used to pull down to pull down your hard top when you're stowing the tent. And it's plenty long, so when this is actually installed onto the top of a vehicle, you should be able to reach that without uh, very much effort. Okay, so then you have a Velcro strap here that you use to release the rungs of the ladder. And we'll just go ahead and deploy it. So as you deploy it, there's an inner frame that will automatically lift the canopy. Also, while we're seeing this ladder, another nice feature to this particular ladder is the angled rungs. So this is completely custom and an iCamper exclusive feature where it's designed to keep that rung flat when it's in the correct angle, making it more comfortable and giving your your foot a better, a better support as you're climbing up the ladder. Okay, so let's uh, check out some of the other features. Of course, this is your rain fly. The rain fly is a Oxford nylon material. It has the gusset here with the reinforcement where you'll use uh, the spring poles to hold that, that awning opening. You also have a zipper, which is for various accessories. The, there's a awning as well as an annex room that can zip to that. Next you have the poly cotton canopy itself. You can see you have weather resistant uh, zippered closures on the first layer. The next layer you have the no -seam mesh that provides ventilation while keeping out insects. Okay, and as we go down deeper here, you can see you've got the mattress. Uh, here is, these are struts uh, that connect uh, to your gas struts, preventing the gas strut from coming down under severe winds. Okay. Um, this of course is the extension panel. The extension panel and the main panel both are using a very high quality honeycomb monocoque material. So incredibly strong, very thin, very lightweight, and also offers some thermal properties uh, to prevent condensation on the inside of the tent from body heat. Then we also have something that uh, iCamper has included with the tent. It is a seam sealer. So if you ever have, uh, if when you're inside the tent, if you notice any pinholes uh, from sunlight coming through, uh, whether when it's brand new or in the future, you can use this to seal up any, anything like that to make sure that you're completely weatherproof. Okay, now I'm gonna come around to this side so I can get to... Okay, so also inside the tent, you've got a nylon bag that contains your spring struts and the spring struts are in two different lengths so you have two long and four short spring struts let me figure out which ones are which. all right take that back you have uh one set of short and two long so that would mean that the short ones, that may be different from the full-size Skycam 
Okay, so here at the top of the ladder, you can see your insertion point for that spring strut. So I'll just insert that, flare the spring strut to meet your grommet. And same thing on this side. So when you're deploying the, uh, these struts, the easiest way to do that once you have these front ones set up is actually go inside of the tent and just reach through the windows to engage your, your struts for the side windows. So let's go ahead and do a side window here so you can see how that's done. So this is uh, your side awning or side closure, also Oxford nylon here. And then on the underside, you have your insertion point. So you just insert that into that point and you have a nylon loop at the top and that's deployed. So obviously very easy to access this when it's just on a rolling stand, but if you're actually, if you actually have this mounted onto a vehicle, by far the easiest way to deploy these awnings is from the inside of the tent and just reach out from your, uh, from, from the inside window. So also while we're here, you can see you have a similar setup, but you have your your no a mesh, but here you have more of the PV clear. So multiple ways to close up the tent, depending on the uh, conditions of your environment. You also have the toggles here that you can use to roll up the, instead of having this deployed as an awning, you can just roll it up out of the way completely if you prefer. All right, and then from the inside here, let me get some of these things out of the way. We'll look at the hardware here in just a moment. So as you deploy the tent, you'll notice that you have, if you look inside here, you have two mattress sections. You have the main mattress and then a separate mattress that's, that needs to be pulled out to cover up your, your extension panel. So I'll go ahead and bring that over. Okay, and so that's designed to fit and create your, your sleeping area. So now the size of this, uh, some people equate it to the number of, of people that can, that can sleep inside a given space. However, the best way to relate this is to normal bed sizes. So this is essentially about the size of a queen size bed, whereas the full size Sky Camp is more along the lines of a California king size bed. So that would be a great way to understand the, the sizes of it to determine which size is best for you and how you like to sleep and, and how many people you're comfortable sleeping with. So then also way in the back, you can see there's a, a flattened out globe of the continents, which just is inspirational to maybe encourage people to travel. Okay, and then finally, let's take a look at the mounting hardware. So I'll go ahead and pop this open. iCamper is, is an innovator in many different aspects of, of rooftop tents, including the mounting hardware. And so, let me just get this open. Nice touches with, with branded tools. Okay, so this is the mounting hardware. It's actually unlike any other mounting hardware found on other rooftop tents. It's designed to be very simple with a single fastener to tighten it. One word of caution is this is a stainless steel bolt and that's a stainless steel threaded barrel. Very important to use anti-seize on that to prevent uh, galling, which is a, a, a possible occurrence anytime you're using stainless steel on stainless steel or dissembler metals. Okay, so you have the shape here. Let's go ahead and go to the side, see if we can access. Okay, so from underneath, you've got a track that runs the full length of the, of the tent, which enables this mounting hardware to slide to match up with your crossbars and also allows the tent to be optimized fore and aft. Now, this is the area that you have to work with to, to accommodate the thickness of the crossbar. And as you tighten, it'll draw that together to grip to the crossbar. 
So very low profile, although not uh, usable for every bar design. We have found with truck racks that you have to revert back to the original mounting hardware, which is carriage bolts and underbar plate. And even in that circumstance, sometimes it's required to get three inch long bolts uh, rather than the roughly two inch long bolts that are included. So bear that in mind, depending on the uh, roof rack system that you're attaching this to. But for standard bars like Yakima standard bars and, and Thule standard bars and Rhino rack standard bars, this fits in there uh, very nicely. It's just when you get into truck racks or heavy duty bars, you have to really uh, take a second, second look at that. There's also end caps that cover up the end of the track once you have your hardware in place. Okay, so those are the key features and our first look at the Skycam Mini. This product, along with the full line of iCamper products, are available through rackoutfitters.com. Please see the link in our video description for the complete details our pricing, and all of your buying options. And thanks for watching.